This is my second time recording this video because yesterday I used my sister's fancy Panasonic HD camcorder and it turns out it makes M2TS files which are impossible to work with on Macs. So after hours and hours of trying to convert it slash work with it on a PC to no avail, I decided to give up because it was making my life unnecessarily complicated and full of rage. So here we go. I'm recording again. These are books that I accumulated over the last three weeks or so, and there are definitely way too many books here considering my current lack of employment. Anyway, first book I have here is Across the Universe by Beth Rebus. This is YA dystopian on a spaceship. Everyone on the spaceship was frozen, cryogenically frozen, to wake up 300 years into the future for a new world, I believe. But anyway, the main character, Amy, wakes up before the 300 years are over, and she finds out crazy things about the ship. I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I'm excited. This is a library copy that I got off Amazon. It was withdrawn. I don't know why. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. This is also YA dystopian about a town where everyone can hear everyone else's thoughts. Um, the main character, Todd, finds out some terrible things about the place and then he tries to escape, except how do you escape from a town where everyone can hear your thoughts? I also got Gilead by Marilyn Robinson. I'm gonna be honest with you, I have no idea what this book is about, aside from the fact that it is about fathers and sons and the spiritual battles that still rage in America's heart. Um, I bought this because Zay Frank mentioned it in a video, and it was really cheap on Amazon. This is a used book. Um, I think it was a cent plus three dollar shipping, so good deal. French Milk by Lucy Nisley. This is a graphic documentation of a six-week trip that the author, Lucy, and her mother took to Paris. From Costco, I got Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. My friend Michelle really loves this book, so I bought it. This is about several generations of a Greek-American family, and I believe the main character is a hermaphrodite. I think that's what it is. Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson. This is nonfiction about good old Britain, so of course I want it in my life. If you watched my update video, you'd know that I went away for a little bit to visit family over in New Jersey and Illinois. And while I was in New Jersey, my aunt took me to a lovely used bookstore called Bogarts. I shouldn't do that because this camera doesn't have continuous autofocus. But anyway, so there I got five books for pretty cheap. First one is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. I absolutely adored Mrs. Dalloway when I read it in high school, so I'm gonna give another Virginia Woolf a go. This one apparently is the most autobiographical of her novels, and it's about relationships from childhood through marriage, and so on. Ethan Fromm by Edith Wharton. This is a classic, Penguin classic. Um, it says in the back that this is a classic novel of despair, forbidden emotion, and sexual undercurrents set against the austere New England countryside. Sounds perfect. Um, this is about Ethan Fromm, who works his um, unproductive farm with his crazy wife until this girl, Zini, comes in and shakes everything up. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. A lot of people have been reading this book lately, and I've always wanted to read it, so I am jumping on the bandwagon. The main character is a firefighter, and in this book, in this world, books are for burning. This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and because this is a Fitzgerald book, you know that this is character-driven. The main character is Amory, Amory Blaine, and this is about her intellectual, spiritual, and sexual education in New York in the Jazz Age. I also got an Agatha Christie book, and this one is Passenger to Frankfurt. I do this thing where 
when I go to a bookstore in a place that I've never visited before, I try to get an Agatha Christie book if they have it. I don't know why. And then inside I write my name and where I got it, the city where I got it from, and the date. I've done it about four times now. Yeah. When I got home, I looked this book up on Goodreads, and everyone said basically that this is Agatha Christie's worst book. So good job, me, on picking the cheapest book there. A few days ago, I got in the mail Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan. This is a new book. It came out in September. Um, basically, the main character loses his job, and he ends up working at this 24-hour bookstore and he finds out that strange things are going on in this bookstore and he tries to investigate. The title of this book just grabbed me and I couldn't not buy it after reading the synopsis. Also, I am crazy about this cover. It is a bunch of yellow books embossed on the page. Just, I love touching it. And the title looks like it was scribbled in Sharpie. It's so beautiful. Even the spine is sharpie looking. Um, also, I put this on my nightstand yesterday and it looks so beautiful there, I might just keep it there forever. But when I turned off my lamp and it was all dark, I found out that it glows in the dark. All these yellow books glow in the dark. It was such an amazing moment. I screamed. I just love this one so much. It hasn't been delivered yet, but I also got the Air Affair by Jasper Ford. I wish I could, I wish I had continuous focus, autofocus, so I could do this, but I can't. Anyway, this is the first in the, th in the Thursday Next series, and it's about this fantastical, surreal England where literature is taken very, very seriously, and you can literally walk into a novel or get lost in a poem. Thursday Next is the name of the literary detective who is the main character of the book, and Thursday needs to investigate the kidnapping of Jane Eyre. I found out about this book on Goodreads, and I had to buy it. Lastly, I have a Kindle haul, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I read it on the flight back from Chicago, and I really liked it. It's about um, Hannah Baker, who commits suicide and the reasons why she did it. It was very powerful and very heavy. I was like this on the plane, right next to this guy I didn't know. I also got The Casual Vacancy by JK Rowling. I got it on my Kindle because my friend Joel gave it to me for free. I am about 35% into this book and it's really interesting so far. It's very slow because it's mostly about characters. It's a book about people and it doesn't move very quickly, so I'm also reading it kind of slow, slowly, but I like it so far. Lastly, my friend Gina told me about the Humble Bundle, which is basically this deal where you pay whatever amount that you want and you get this bundle of books. Currently, their bundle is sci-fi books, and for any amount you get six books, but if you pay above the average that everyone else pays, you get eight books. The books included in the bundle are The Secret World Chronicle by Mercedes Lackey, Pirate Cinema by Cory Doctorow, Zoo City by Lauren Bukes, Magic for Beginners by Kelly Link, Pump Six and Other Stories by Paolo Basigalupi, Stranger Things Happen by Kelly Link, Old Man's War by John Scalzi, and Signal to Noise, which is a graphic novel written by Neil Gaiman and illustrated by someone else. I don't remember right now what these books are about, but I read the summaries and I liked them, so I bought them. I'll leave a link um, down below to the website, so if you're interested in getting these sci-fi books, you should do it soon because, you know, as more people buy, the average payment um, gets higher and higher, so if you want to pay cheaper to get all eight books, you should do it soon. And that's about it for this book haul. Uh, reading updates, I finished Let the Great World Spin. It was a lovely, lovely book. I am crazy about it. I might do a review of it. We'll see. Um, I'm 
currently reading Casual Vacancy, and I want to read, before the end of the month, Dracula and Frankenstein, because I feel like those are two classics that I should read. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you're reading right now if you're interested in any of these books. I'll put a list of them down below in case you're interested in any of them. And that's it. Thanks for watching. You're coming through a one-way radio.